I am. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the like. We're out uh, 74 Fullerton, heading eastbound. Away. And I did hear about that protest in Chicago. I listened to uh, WBBM News Radio. station. Did you enjoy it? Doors. How about that sky? They said 10% chance Doors. of rain. 10% chance of particip precip <laughs> precipitation. like more than that. I'm glad you enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun making it.
That would be real cool to do the blue line. They're still working on Racine. in front of the bus. they address the issue. I hope the CTA addresses the issue. I think I think part of it is the, the violence on the red line. And also the red line is being used as a, a homeless shelter. And, you know, instead of a transportation system. I believe that the people sleeping on the trains and sleeping in the viaducts and sleeping on the streets should have a place to live. A good place to live. Not the train.
it's been a little rough over here on this intersection, this corner too, at Albany and Clinton. I believe that the CTA is going to meet their goals um, with a red line extension. Uh, they want to extend it from 95th, the red line from 95th to, to 130th um, southbound. Um, and they're going to try to um, create little neighborhoods along the track. They're going to try to um, have different, different. Um, build up the communities along the tracks but they're going to have to use eminent domain they're going to have to buy a lot of properties there's a lot of planning involved um, they've been working on this for so many years so we'll see about the red uh, the red line extension how long that takes At least. the southern edge of the city of Chicago with the red line extension. the longest route throughout the country? I'll have to ask them about that. Did you read that? Uh, after the extension project is finished, I believe it. building the new stations higher and higher um, so the trucks can go underneath them. Yeah, no smoking. No smoking at all. No smoking or, or littering or loud music. They should enforce that sometimes. Well, I'm heading over to a meeting in Rogers Park right now.
I'm all around the city pretty much all day and night, every day and night. And I take public transportation. Yes, I'm going to Rogers Park right now. So I'm going to take this to take the 74 to the Fullerton Red Line. And I'm going to take the Red Line north, northbound Red Line train uh, to Morse. addressing your concerns, Adam. Uh, the meeting is going to be addressing the concerns of everything, everything in the, the city and then particularly Rogers Park and the 49th Ward. Um, but yes, your concerns uh, fit into that box. Everything CTA, Park District, Police department, school system, streets and sanitation, and so on. Yes, yes, we'll be talking about the RPM as well. RMP, Red Line Modernization Project. Now we really get into it about uh, everything civic, everything citywide, uh, from the people without homes to uh, the lack of mental care to uh, our rat infestation in the potholes. setting up the live stream videos, the permanent live streams, um, but it is not happening yet. So I, I just learned that if I were to do a 24-7, 365 live stream, um, it can go. It can go on forever as long as it's, you know, the internet is on and the, the power doesn't cut off. Yes, yes I am. I am running for 49th Ward Alderman in the city of Chicago to improve my neighborhood in the city. So I was watching a YouTube uh, video, a YouTube, a, a tutorial about YouTube. I watched them a lot to grow the channel, and um, they said if I have a live stream, I can only, I have to save it after every 12 hours for 256 gigabytes of data. So I would have to reset it every 12 hours. But I've seen on some some train channels that they have it. They've had it going for almost a year live stream uh, but I guess they can't save it if it goes down it doesn't it, it's not watchable it's not on the channel again not unless you stop every 12 hours and reset your live stream so I've got to work my, I got to work the way around that problem the challenge okay that was a little fast. I, I wasn't able to, to catch your message, Adam. Twelve hours every day. Yep. So every twelve hours, um, 
you know, I can have a live stream for 12 hours and then I'd have to stop it and save it, make it public for everyone to view it, you know, and it'll just stay there. Whenever you want to view it, you can. But if I go over 12 hours, then it doesn't save. And that's what I heard from this tutorial video on YouTube I, I just watched. So I have to, or I could just leave it on. I could leave the live stream on forever. And whenever it stops for whatever reason, the camera breaks or um, the electricity goes out or the internet goes out, um, it won't say on YouTube. So we won't be able to watch it later. So right now I'm talking with the team about how to overcome this challenge so we can have the, the most live stream possible and save it without having to, you know, turn it off and reset it every 12 hours. Okay, customer service return back to normal business hours adding additional services I hope so I know that they added um, additional services to the Ashland buses the 9 and the X9 Express and if you if you're over there by Ashland and Milwaukee you'll see nothing but a line of buses I mean so many buses but if you go to like 68 Northwest Highway um, you know especially on the Sunday you'll, you'll be having a hard time getting from point A to point B training center breaking ground soon uh, is it a CTA training center that you're referring to section of Fullerton and Clybourne, heading westbound on the 74 Fullerton bus. CTA headquarters, uh, the CTA board meeting, yes. We're planning on going to the, the next board meeting. We, meet, we recently met with the heads of the um, Red Line, Purple Line Modernization Project um, in a meeting. It was uh, this week, actually, a couple days ago. And we already discussed um, the Morse and Jarvis ADA accessibility and um, the North Thorndale phase of the red and purple line modernization project, uh, which will take a very long time. Thank you, thank you. Um, I am a Democrat, but uh, the office I'm running for is nonpartisan because it's the city. I have to represent everybody. 
Oh yeah, public comment is important, especially at the board meetings. straight in the CT tracks. Um, you know, I was just talking. Um, I, was, I was just uh, talking to the head infrastructure engineer um, about it. And I'll get back to you on that. We were talking about the, the width of the rails and our rails compared to New York and how the wheels work and how the, um, the electric works and why you know, why it sparks at certain places. We, we talked about a lot of things. Yeah, flyover projects. Well, they're, they're going to build them, uh, they're, you know, they're going to build them higher and higher. I spoke with the, the planning team, and they're going to build them higher and higher, all of them. I'm going to get onto the red line. I'll bring you along with me. We're looking forward to the 7,000 series rail cars. Yeah, give them a try. And it looks like it might rain too. Bigger and better. You know, they need to widen, they need to widen the platforms to facilitate longer trains and ADA accessibility for elevators and escalators. So they need to widen the platforms to do that. And that is very likely in many cases, or some cases, uh, going to require um, buying property in one way or another um, and to widen the, the platforms on the train stations. Yep, that's the big idea. And, you know, a lot of a lot of times they, they buy homes from families and they've been living there for generations and families don't have a choice. It's called eminent domain. Or I guess sometimes they may make an offer that, that you know someone the, the homeowner is willing to accept in some cases. But eminent domain, that's, uh, that can be pretty sad, I guess.
up the escalator. Battery's running a little bit low right now, so let me get this situated. Might be a little shaky for a moment. And what we're looking at now is Fullerton Avenue. Eastbound Fullerton Avenue. better. Okay. All right, just put the battery in, so we're all good. We're going to be taking this red line. Uh, northbound into Rogers Park. I'm just judging by how many people are on this platform, and it's probably going to be a packed train. So we'll see. We'll see if I can continue. Quite a few people here around. So we will have to see. I might take the, uh, there's a brown coming. I think I might just take the brown. Sometimes I take the brown over to, um, to Belmont. And then from there, from there I take it from Belmont and, um, and then I catch a red at Belmont. Cause I don't want to be bored with this waiting around like this. There it is, brown. Here we go. Uh, that's a dirty window. Wow. That's a dirty window if I've ever seen one. All kinds of dirty windows. I'm thinking about back it up a little bit better. I don't think so. the red line. is like um, the smaller representative of the city. Uh, there are 50 aldermen uh, within the city of Chicago um, that are in 50 different wards. And the aldermen propose and make decisions uh, for uh, things happening in the city. And uh, the mayor is the head of the city. So it's like a little mayor. Like a, like a 
mayor of the one of the wards. And my ward is the 49th ward. So I'm 49th ward of 50 wards. So an alderman can do a lot. You know, so, some of them will say, well, I can't do anything about the violence. I can't do anything about um, no, people without homes. I can't do anything about They, they say these things, but when you're alderman, you can do those things. You can help people. They just don't want to. So I'm going to go in there and do it. And I'm going to work with everyone. And I'm going to work bring about a positive change, not only in my community, but throughout the whole city of Chicago. This is well. This is a problem for you. scenic route with a dirty window. Thank you for the likes and thank you for watching. This is Belmont. Transfer to Red Line trains at Belmont. This is a brown line to Kimberly. Alright. Let's see what we got here. And we're waiting for the red line. Which looks like it's coming. That was the southbound loop, purple. Line Express, and we're going to have the red line on the way. Here it comes. My guess is this is going to be have more people in it than the brown line did. So let's see if I can get in there and keep on recording without having to stop. We will see. Alright guys, this train is packed, so I'm going to cut this off. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Please subscribe if you like this kind of content.